Holding today's daf mem aleph, we're gonna start from mem omed beis on the bottom, four lines from the bottom. Omer Reb Zera, Omer of Masna, Omer Shmuel. That's actually I will say. Do me a favor, maybe say that if Mendy comes, give him that seat. He's very he's very uptight now. Oi, I said it on live. <laughs> Start again. Restart, erase, go back. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's always live. It's always live. <laughs> I can prove that he'll never watch this video. <laughs> if you put Semer and Pishan together, there's no problem, there's no shotness. Vafilu betalis pturo. Even if you do it, you, uh, you have shotness in a talus that is supposed to be potter. And the Gemara is going to explain what that means. In other words, you have a situation where you don't, where you don't need to put tzitzis at all, and you put the tzitzis and their shotness, you're not over. So, what does it mean you have a talus that's potter? My talus pturo, ilay medeles bo shiuro. If you're going to say that the actual talus is part of it because it's not large enough, what's the shear? A talus that a, a child, whatever the child is, a child that's embarrassed to go without proper clothing, whatever age that is. So he could, if it covers his head and most of his body, and some people say it's a second, a second shear or an additional shear or it's the same shear, or an adult a kid that's already 13 he lost, he came late, he lost if he comes we'll ask him now if this older kid goes out with it once in a while so that's the size of a beggar that you have it but if it doesn't have that cheer, even if a kid, an older kid that's bar mitzvah goes out with it, it's potter. So this, this uh, shear of a beged, that it has to be able to cover a head of a, a small child and most of his body, applies also to shatnas. We ask, what does it mean? If you tell me that if you wear a beged, that is a temporary beged. That's not really, it doesn't have the shear that of, for a small child. And you go out with it, you're not over in klayim. That can't be. When it comes to shatnas, no matter what the size of the beged is, you're chayiv. So what is the pshat? That if a beged pishtan, has this shear that a cotton, a kafir a cotton, then it's chayiv bitzitzis. Once it's chayiv bitzitzis and you put shatnas on it, it becomes your potter from shatnas. Again, if this beged is the size of a beged that a child could wear it and will cover most of his body, then it makes it mechuyiv bitzitzis. Once it's mechuyiv bitzitzis and you put shatnas on your potter, but if it's smaller than that size, so now it's not chayi b'tzitzis, and you put shatnas in it, now you're over in shatnas, because you had no reason to put shatnas on this beged. Didn't we say it's not a beged then? No, it's a beged. A beged starts at three, three, three fingers by three fingers. The, the, the question is, what's the shear of a beged that's chayi b'tzitzis? So the Gemara says, we have to say a different pshat. Elamai pturo, it can't, so it can't be when he said that shatnas doesn't apply to a beged that's potter. What's the pshat? Elamai pturo hitil lemutelas. This is the halach that we had yesterday. You have a, a beged that already has tzitzis on it. All four corners are covered with tzitzis. He went and he put an additional four pairs of tzitzis on every corner. So what happens? The question is, the additional tzitzis that he put on, they're shatnas. So, that's what you were talking about, right? That was on Erev Yontif, he asked the question. You put in more shatnas, and I, I said, there's no such thing as more shatnas. Once it's part, it's part. So this is what the Gemara over here says. That 
the first four peers, everybody agrees there's no problem with shatnas. It's a regular tzitzis. You're allowed to put shatnas on tzitzis. Now it was already potter from tzitzis because it already has four. And he put on an, an additional four things of tzitzis, four peers of tzitzis. So the halacha is, even, that's what he's saying. Vafilu betalus ptura, even if the talus doesn't need any tzitzis at all because it already has tzitzis. And he put on tz, more tzitzis. You're not over on shatnas. Says the Gemara of Amara Rabbi Zera Chodazim. Last night we learned this exact halacha that you're allowed to put tzitzis on top of tzitzis. Says the Gemara Chodam Eklach the Chaver Teitmar. There's actually two halachas here. The halacha that we learned last night tells us one thing, and what we're learning now is is another halacha that we got out of that halacha. What did we learn yesterday? We learned that if you put there's no problem with tassiv elimin asli. If you have a beggar with four tzitzis, and then you put an additional four tzitzis on it, and you cut the tzitzis off, again, you have a beggar with tzitzis, one, two, three, four. We'll call them one, two, three, four. Then he goes afterwards and puts on five, six, seven, eight, four more pairs. And then he chops off one, two, three, four. So what is he left with? Five, six, seven, eight. The problem is that 5, 6, 7, 8, when you put them on, didn't accomplish anything when you put them on. So maybe they're not tzitzis. And then when you chopped off 1, 2, 3, 4, you created tzitzis by chopping off 1, 2, 3, 4, and that's a problem of Tassif Elimin That we said is not a problem. Based on that halacha, that you could use tzitzis, four, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, I'm also going to tell you that when you put it on, you weren't over on shatnas. That's another halacha. If I have a very, very long talus, a large talus, and I fold it in half, and I put that talus on, so now I am chayev b'tzitzis, where? On the fold. It just so happens to be that it, I have, I don't know, I have in my Gemara a, a sample for this. Here. This is the talus. But it was very long, so he folded it in half. So where does he put the tzitzis? He puts the tzitzis on the fold. This corner, obviously, he has to put the tzitzis on this corner. I'll tell you how I got this later, these tzitzis. I didn't just cut them off my tzitzis. This obvious, this is the corner, this, this corner is 100% you have to put here. The question is, do you put over here? Or could you put it over here on this corner? Because right now, this is how he use, he's using the tiles like this. This is where his head is going to be up here. So he puts tzitzis on that corner. That's one cheetah. Reb Shimon Poiter. Reb Shimon says we have a big problem. How can you put tzitzis over here? What happens when you open it up? He doesn't have tzitzis anymore. It has to be on the corner of the of the of the baguette, and it's not on the corner. Look, it's in the middle. You shouldn't say poter. You should say also. Oh, that was yesterday's. Uh... According to Big Shammai, yeah. It puts it on the whole four corners immediately once the baguette, once the once it's made. Yeah. Wouldn't you have to put it on all four corners? So maybe he did put it on all four. He knew he was going to fold it up. He knew it was forty-five feet long. He can't wear it like that. That's some sugar and So He folded it. And he put the, the, the tzitzis here. It doesn't say when he made it, when he put the tzitzis. Reb Shimon Poiter, Vishavin, and everybody agrees, Shim Kfala Utfara Shechayeves. Everybody agrees that if he, he put a stitch right over here, so now this became the size of the baget, he no longer could open it up. Obviously, you're going to put on this corner. That's not a problem. No, 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 no time for limit us here. Vishov in Shim Kloven the Vilchayevs. Tfara up Shita. Ask the Gemara if you sold it. Okay, so that's your Begit. Who cares uh, what it started out with? Your Begit is now half the size. Loit Sricha de Nakto Besike. He didn't really sew it. He put uh, pins in there. He's holding it together with some pin. Or uh, another Pshat is very thick um, stitching, but it's not a typical sewing. Rabbi Baruch Huna went 
to the house of Rava, the son of Rav Chazio, and he saw Rava, the Havimikasa Talas Kvula, that he was wearing this talus. And he actually put the tzitzis on the fold, like this, like this diagram. Now, what happened was, he didn't say anything. I think the Bishoyosef yeah, the says, so if he held not like this, he should have told him, what are you doing? You, you don't have the tzitzis. No, he waited. He waited patiently. And then he got him. He waited until he'll mess up. Because how come you hold, they hold that you shouldn't put the tzitzis here? Because it might open up. So you figure, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be quiet. It's just a matter of time before his talus falls off, slips over the back, and you're going to have a major bow. And that's what happened. That's how the Beis Yosef says. He didn't want to tell him. He wanted to show him, show him on himself. He should learn his lesson. Ipshita, it actually unfolded. Vasachuta, and it turned out that the strings, the tzitzis, become hadi reishi. Now the strings were in the wrong place. The strings were here. If you look at this hole, hole is not in the right place really, but pretend that this is where his head would be, in this V, the V neck. So it came out that the string was over here where his head was, not over here where it's supposed to be. This is not what the Rebbeinu Shalom wrote in the Torah, Konof, the way you did it. So, Osis Shadio Ikasig Lima Achrite. So he threw off that tzitzis. He went to the drawer, pulled out another talus. He had one that was good. Omar Lehi, he said, nope, still not good. Misabras Chavis Gavru. You hold that a tzitzis is only when the person wears the beget, then he's Chayv Bet Tzitzis. Chavas Talasu. He always like Bishamai. That the tzitzis is a Chayva on the actual talus. It doesn't help me that you took off your talus and put it away in the drawer. You're not allowed to have a talus in a drawer without tzitzis. It's just owning a talus that requires tzitzis. It's not wearing it. Zil Romilo. So he went and he put tzitzis on the, what did you say? Yeah. He says, go, go, go put tzitzis over here on these corners where you need to put them. If it's a chaytas so every time you fold the talus and you draw, you've got to put the tzitzis in the other corner. Where no, no we, we're saying over here not. not. Folding is not a problem. Uh, the opposite. If you put it on the fold, you're not yoyed. So you have to put it on the konov. What happens if you fold it afterwards? No, no. We're, the Gemara is saying that folding is not an issue. Do, don't, don't think about folding. Think about the, 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 the final product. This is where you have to put the tzitzis. And according to this man, the Omar, it's in the, in the drawer. No, we just said that folded. We don't care about the kefil. The, the tzitzis always has to be in the konov. Rachmana, the 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 the, the, the wants you to put on the konov. What? He proved it. He proved. He put it over here on the kefil, and he told him. But once it opens up, it has to be over here. You have to put this over here. He says, you're right. I'm going to put it over here. Meanwhile, he put it in the drawer. He said, no, but even the drawer, you still need this over here. Why did he fold it in the drawer? It doesn't help folding. That's the whole point. He had it folded and he, he told him... Fine. He holds it to be in the fold. No, he doesn't. No, he holds he can't have it in the fold. That's exactly what's going on here. He saw Rava folded it and put it on like this. This part. And then he said, wait a minute. You can't do it like that. But he didn't say anything. He waited until, until it unfolded. But of course he holds it even when it's folded. It's still usher to put the tzitzis over. You just waited to show him that the reason why it's usher is because it might unfold and then your corners become over here. The only time it's mutter is if you fold it and you sew it. That's when you put it over here. Why is that not possible? Why does it blame an usher? It's not done. When it's on the four corners in the middle, then it's not a kosher pen. When you fold it over, you sew it, then it becomes now four corners. On the four corners. Oh, yeah, who says that he... No, it could be you're right. It could be you're right, but it could be that they sewed it and then they put the tzitzis on. Is this part of the problem with folding your talus and then wearing it so you got like it looks like you have two tits in front and then you got the four corner empty corner? I don't think that's the I think the problem over there is that you're not wearing it as a baguette. Like it's a not scarf. a yeah. Like a scarf that's course. not a baguette. In order to have a talus, your talus is like it covers your body. So I think that's the issue. I don't know. It's the, it's the reverse of the case we had before. Just like we had a 
an issue with the talus being too small for a katan, so you don't need tzitzis. Why don't we say the opposite? If something's too long, and they're embarrassed. They want you, you're not high in tzitzis. Too long, embarrassed, but too long. There's ways yeah, out of it. You fold it. You can do stuff with the folding. Exactly. You, you fold it. Once you fold it, then you're high in tzitzis. But, but you're high in tzitzis on the full, the full length. length. On the, no. On the full length. You're, you're just asking length. in general. Something, any beggar, we should have a rule. Any beggar that you're a little bit embarrassed to go out with, no, you no, should no, be. No, no, like this, this talus. Holes in the jeans or whatever. This talus was too long. No, not holes yeah. in the jeans are. This no, for from guy. Too long mm-hmm. Yeah. For him to go out. Right. right. So it's not high and So what do you do? You fold it. Once you fold it, it is. Right. No, that's it's it's, no it's, max it's size. right. And we're, we're going to see that there's actually no max size. Well, that's something else. That's not in the beggar. That's in the chutim. But fine. Yeah, I, you you never see that there's a problem with max. The problem is always on the minimum. What's the minimum shear of beggar? And that's it. Too big is never in it. What are you going to say? The beggar is really, really big. Is not tummy? Doesn't come tummy because it's too big of a beggar. We're talking about tummy. We're, we're talking, talking about, about tuma, then it would be even something. You're saying when it comes to tzitzit right here, but I don't think this is a max. Fine. So the Gemara, let's say we have a riot from what we learned yesterday. By the way, it was amazing. I, I, yesterday we had almost 20 people there. And this is after a fast 10 o'clock at night. I can't believe it. I, I, was, I said, you know, I don't really have to prepare. There's going to be two people. Gishma. <laughs> All right. Says the Gemara, we learned yesterday. Chasidim or Rishonim. Kivin she'argu ba shaloj, ha'yumatilim ba t'cheles. So, what do you see? Uh, Chaim actually had this right yesterday. This is what he was saying. The reason why the Chasidim or Rishonim when they they got they only we we started when they got to three fingers away from the end of the beged, which already is considered the end of the beged, that's where the, the confis are, they put on their tzitzis right away. What was the rush? Let them wait until the guy completes it, you know, he completes the beged. Why why does he have to oh we got you already could do it's kosher tzitzis, I'm gonna put in tzitzis. The answer is because the Hasidim was showing him held that the a chiv on the beged, not on the person. So once you got to that point of the beged and the chiv happened, you, you have to put on the tzitzis. You can't wait. So the Gemara, no, it's not a raya. Maybe we hold that the chiv is really on the person, but the chasidim or shaylim they wanted to, to make an extra chumrah, even when they even when the beged became chayiv. Didn't we have a Gemara? Didn't we quote before somebody does something which he doesn't have to do in the head yet? Obviously, it's not. That but no, well, there is machlokes here. It's machlokes. It's machlokes if it's chayvus gav or chayvus beged. According to that sheet, according to Bishama. So he's saying stamps. If you do like Bishama, you're in trouble. But in terms of hediyot, hediyot is making up a new halacha. This is not made up. There is a sheet like that. And I'm, I have to. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it could be machlok that anyways he's going to put the tzitzis on. So he just did it a little earlier. Doing it earlier is not. He didn't invent a new halacha. It's going to happen. It's just not in the not in the right time. Yeah. What? You could be like a shayla and have hundred sitzes in your drawer. No, you're not making the mitzvah until you wear it. But the chi, no, the chiyuv happens when it's in your drawer. You're not making a mitzvah though when it's in your drawer. No, why are you? It's like uh, having something uh, tray in your house. I don't know. Right there. You I don't think right there. you're saying you're not so Maybe, maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're in time. Yeah. So the manufacturer has a whole <laughs> 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 yeah, what he's saying? Mishkan Chelas, the owner, is Mikhaim hundreds of thousands of misses every day, according to Mishami. Uh, fine. Very interesting Gemara Rabbi say. Pluge the Malacha. Is Machlaikis the Malachim in Shemaim and this man Omar? Why? There's a story. The Malach Ashki Khaila Ravkatino, the Malach bumped into Ravkatino, the Mekasis Dino. Ravkatino was wearing a beggar of Pishtun. And this beggar of Pishtun didn't have any tzitzis on it. Because we said yesterday, it, it, it's not Mukhiv Bitchelas. We had yesterday that in Shalain they were very Makbid. Not to put chelus, and the Gemara had five different reasons. The bottom line, at the end, of the Gemara said because of 
Ksus Laila, or maybe he'll, it's Tasif Aleman also, he might use the, the white thread that, that he fixed the beggar with, and he, whatever the reason is. Uh, I don't know if you ever know the, the Bis Yosef, he has a whole Sefer, I read it many years ago, it's very interesting, everyone wants to see, conversations that he had with the Malach. It's uh, incredible uh, stuff over there. Like one time he woke up a few minutes after Vesikin, the Malach gave it to him. He says, well, what kind of business is this? What are you, lazy, lying in your bed like this? A couple minutes after this. Good stuff. So anyways, it didn't start by the Bis Yosef, they had it already in the times of the Maroim. Rav Ketino, the Mikasis Dino. Omar Lei, Ketino Ketino. What's going to be with you? Zdino Bekaito. You wear, you try to get out of the mitzvah. You wear Pishton in the summer. Because it's thin. And you don't want to put trails on it. Bisar Bolo Besivso. Besisvo. And you wear this kind of beged. The frock, exactly. If you notice some of the frock guys, they, they, they round out the corner so they shouldn't be high. It's it's this. What's, What's going to be with you? What? what? This? this was the, the winter. When it's cold and you wear uh, a heavier beged, how do you get out of the mitzvah? By rounding out the corner. When it's hot and you're wearing something thin, what do you do? You, you, you wear linen. And linen, we said, you shouldn't put tcheles on linen. Tzitzit shel tcheles, mati yaleo. What's going to be? How, how are you ever going to be mekayim this mitzvah? Omar lei, sir, if Katinas answers him, on shisu say. Are they going to give a, a punishment in Shemayim for a mitzvah saseh? Meaning, if you don't put on tefillin, mitzvah saseh, of course you're going to get a einish. That wasn't his question. The question is, in our case, tzitzis, you only be, get a, a mitzvah if you wear the beged. I don't, I'm not wearing the beged. Maybe I don't get a saseh. Am I mechuyiv to buy a house in order to put on a mezuzah? Do I have to buy a beged in order to put on tzitzis? Maybe not. Or malay. So the Malach says to him, "Bizman de itcha, dika ritcha an chinon." Yes, when there's a, when it's not good in Shemaim, when when there's anger, and they're they're punishing people anyways, they're going to punish you even for for something as far as a, a say that you didn't really have to do and you didn't do. Says the Gemara. Let's let's understand this. Iyam is mishloim achoyvas gavrehu. If you hold that tzitzis is when you wear the tzitzis, you're mechayiv the tzitzis, not when it's in the drawer. Hainu de mechayiv de loiko rami. That's why he's chayiv, because he didn't put it on. Elo yamr is chayiv talasu, holo mechayiva. The guy is not chayiv at all. So the Gemara says, wait a minute, uh, does it, your way it also doesn't make sense. Elo mai chayiv is gavru. So what? So you, you feel better to say that it's on the person, only when the person wears it. Nihid chayiv rachmani, the Torah only said you're chayiv when you when you have to put on tzitzis, even if it's chayiv as gaver, even if the chayiv is on the person only when he wears something that he mechayiv with tzitzis. But a person that wears a frack with rounded out corners or the linen beged after the gzera that they said he shouldn't put on tchelis, he's not chayiv with tchelis. This is what the Malach meant to say. You're looking for tricks, for ways out. Very interesting. We can take a... Don't look for ways out of a mitzvah. If you look for ways out of a mitzvah, they could get you on that in a time of ritcha. Interesting. Exactly. Exactly. The, uh, there's a lot of examples, but that's a good one. He said, putting in your tfua, uh, not, not putting it in through the front door, putting it in through the... Different things, I don't know. Selling comments, I, I don't know. Whatever it is, trying to get out of... Uh, <laughs> that's the key. What? No, there was, the beggar was never b'chuyi b'tzitzis because he ran out the corners to begin with. But he tried, he tried to get out of the mitzvah. He's trying to get out of the mitzvah. You're looking for everything. You're buying a frack with rounded corners. You you go with the gedolim that say that you're not b'chuyi b'tchelus. You do all the things that you could do just not to be in kind of mitzvahs. It's uh. <laughs>
Yeah. 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 What, what? If you round the corners of your bag yeah. and you wear another bag of tits, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's hard that you mess it around the Yes, they actually, they actually say exactly your point. I saw people talk about it, that in the time of the Gemara, they used to wear a lot of cornered Bugadim. So when you go and you round the corner, it's obvious that you are trying to be over. You're trying to get out of it. But nowadays, that they, they don't have those corners. We don't wear corner, four cornered Bugadim. It's not so obvious. Well, upon him, it's better to wear tzitzis. That's why we wear tzitzis. Are you going to get Irish for it? it? Probably not. Well, you see I just stuck that in. Just, <laughs> please, no long messages on the WhatsApp. <laughs> the, the, the comments, <laughs> curious comments. You sell all your comments and you don't have anything left for me to comment. Okay. But you're, you're worried about your, your booze. That's it. That's, that's it. Okay, <laughs> fine. Okay. <laughs> that's the whole point. Okay. He doesn't have anything left on so I want to drink. <laughs> all right. Zoe de Gimara. Omar Avtoy Vibak Kisno Omar Shmuel. Kilei Kufsa. Again, this is just going back to the same halach. If you have a beged, a tzitzis, inside a box, chayovim b'tzitzis. You mechuyiv to put on tzitzis. If it's inside the wrapping, it's in the, it's in the packaging, you still chay b'tzitzis. Umoyda Shmuel b'zakein. Shasalach voida. Very interesting. Allah Lashen. An old man that basically made a tachrichim for himself. Shepturo. Tachrichim don't need tzitzis. My time asher tachase ba amarachmano. The Torah says that it's a beggar that you cover yourself with. Vahai lav leikasuya vida. A dead person doesn't need covering. It's not to to protect him. So mimela it's not chayav tzitzis. Says the Gemara though. Vahai shata vaday reminin lei. When a person dies, certainly you have to put tzitzis on his tachrichim. Why? Mishum. It's very interesting because we know, we all know that when you go, what? The other way around. Right. No, we don't. I'll explain. When we go to Besak Forest, we all put, tuck in our tzitzis. Why? Because you don't want to make fun, like stick out, you know, like a candy to a child. Uh, look, you can't do the mitzvah. But on the other hand, when he's dead and he's in front of us, he's not in his grave, you could give him tzitzis and make him feel good that he's wearing tzitzis. Not that he's going to be in kind of mitzvah or anything, but he shouldn't feel left out. Everybody's wearing tzitzis. Why not give him? When he's in the grave, you can't give him tzitzis. There's nothing you can do. Finished. End the story. So what do we do with Bizman Azeh? So, the, right. A, 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 I think we put a talus and we pass all the tzitzis. The, the, the Ramban Paskins that you do a Bizman Azeh. Taisa says that you see that in Ashkenaz, he says in our time, we don't, we don't do it. Why? Why? What? I'm, I'm not sure why. Why do we pass it? Because he's not chayv in mitzvahs anyways. It's not. Like, uh, to be, it's a both. You give him, you make him feel good. He's wearing tzitzis for the puzzle. Okay. <laughs> Some people say, I think it's Tosis even says that. Bizman Azeh, it's not a steer to this Gemara. That we could do both. You, you put it on, you put it on the mace, but then you take it off. Okay. So you do kind of both. Okay. Batashchus, okay. Batashchus, the actual begad. But the chrichim are not tashchus, okay. It looks the same, but... The doesn't Right. But the Khrikhim doesn't have four corners. You're saying in addition to the Khrikhim, put on a put a, put a, put a, put a, put a talus on. Maybe maybe the Khrikhim does have four corners. I never really looked at it. It's a sheet, so it should have four corners. So it's not the same as the kettle. Oh no no. It it, it resembles a kittle in terms of uh, color and everything else. Kittle resembles that. Omar Rachba Omar Abiyuda, Talus Shani Kura, Chutz the Shali Shitvar. If a talus ripped more than three fingers away from the edge, you should sew it. Like we saw, we're gonna go. We saw yesterday. Now the problem is that if you sew it with a white string, you might come to use the white string for your tzitzis, and that's a problem of taz of If it, we said the same thing. If it was ripped 
more than three finger breaths away, then you do sew it. Toich Shalosh is machloik is Rameir Oimer Leitvar v'Chamayim Yitvar. Rameir is like our sugi that you don't sew it because the problem of Tasvul Eminosim. V'Shavim and everybody agrees Rameir and the Chachamim. Shloyavi Afilu Amal Amal Mokim Acher. If your tzitzis got cut off, don't take another tzitzis that's already made. You'll take another. I have an idea. I like these tzitzis. They're perfect. I'll just cut off something from another begot and sew it on. That's certainly also. Why? That's possibly even also. Rashi says, And this is not, this wasn't there while you made it. You need to have on this begot, each begot, you have to put the tzitzis on each begot, you can't take it from another begot. Vishavin and they, everybody agrees. She may be tchelus memokim acher v'toyleba. So this is our lachal amaisa. What happens if you don't want your begad anymore? You have an older tzitzis. Can I undo my tzitzis and just use it? Especially if you have tchelus, let's say, and it costs two hundred shekel a pair. So and you have a problem with your begad, you're not going to use it anymore. Can you undo it? Yes, you can undo it and use it again. Why? Because. There's a whole thing in the, in the place they have in the Yom Kippur. There's a guy running around there telling people, everybody who's wearing trellis, the old Gronix, and, they, and he's running around. If you're going to wear trellis for the first time, we'll, we'll pay, we'll, we'll help you out. There's a whole subsidy program going on. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you already wear, you know, it's, that doesn't apply to you. If you want to get your kids. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> The only difference is that Uman is, uh, it might be an Isser, I don't know, but this is a, the, the, this is a Daraisa, the Mikhaim of Daraisa. I don't know, I saw a bottom come out against it, I don't know, I didn't read exactly what they said. I saw a bottom come out against Tehidus also. Oh. <laughs> it's a something, okay, Uman is a something Daraisa, and this is a something Daraisa, fine. The people that hold this Daraisa, they pay for it. That's what happened. But we've actually had to Says the Gemara, you're allowed to use these tzitzis as long as they're not cut off at the end. As Toysvis, what kind of chiddush is this? If it's cut off at the end, of course you can't use it. You hear the Kaasher Rabbi say? Tap, let's turn the page. Let's do this again. You're allowed to undo tzitzis and use them on your begate. Make sure that they're not cut. Okay? As Toysvis, of course. Shalom Aleichem. If you have cut tzitzis, what's the have mean that I can use it on my next begate? So they say, the Shittim Kubetzis says a beautiful Teretz. Teretz obviously doesn't like the Teretz songs because he doesn't say it. He says, my Ashmina, what's the Chiddush? But the Shita says, because we learned that if you have the proper size and then you cut it down and you have Kedayaniva, then you can leave it in the Beged. But I cannot use that Tzitzis. If you start off with that size, it's no good. And that's what the Gemara is saying here. That's also not a Chiddush you're saying. Yeah, but you're applying it lemaisa. That what? No, I would have a havamina that if in begad a this tzitzis is good enough. Why? Because I can make a slip knot with it. So maybe I could undo it and just put it on begad b. Why not? That's the chiddush it's also. That's if you're starting off with lechatchila. But what if it was already good? You had a lechatchila. And I just want to transfer it to, to another begot. That, that, that we didn't say that chiddush. Mm, no, the Gemara, it's not the exact same Gemara. The Gemara is saying if you started off with that length and it was never on another period of tzitzis, it's not the exact same Gemara. So I'm saying know? over here it was good in the morning and I want to use it in the afternoon on another begot. Maybe it should be good. The Gemara talks about Gardimian. Yeah. She said that on that specific begot, it's okay, but you can't re- undo it and put it in the Okay, so that's exactly Allah. I don't, I don't remember it like that. Fine. What are you saying? How much do you need to transfer it? How much? What do you mean how much? It's it's that, oh, it's only you can't transfer it. So it's half you, you, need, you, need a, you need a, a, a real shear, a big shear. Oh, you're saying Kedai Aniva is the shear. So uh, it's more than Kedai Aniva, then you can transfer it. That's so okay. maybe you need a, a shle, I don't know. No, 12 will see. The, the shear is over here. Whatever the Gemara says. 12 fingers, whatever. Zog Gemara, Shmas Mino, Matir, Mi Beged, Le Beged. Lachar, it seems like you could you, you could use tzitzis from another beged. Duma di blai. Maybe no. Maybe only in a, in a situation where the beged is going bye bye anyways. It's a ruined beged, 
and then you could do it. What would be the nafkamina? Because if the beged is no good, so now you don't have a bizarre for the tzitzis. But if the beged is good, so maybe it's a bizarre. Let's see. Talis shakula tchelis. Now, the halacha is that you see from the Torah that the Torah is makbid that you should have two minim. You should have white and blue. The Torah says, put in min kanaf, you should have white. In addition, you should have blue. So the Torah says you should have two colors. What if you have a talis shakula tchelis? It's entirely blue, the whole beged. So then the halacha is, kol minim You can use any color, you can use red also. As long as you have two separate colors, chutz mikol ilan. The only color you can't use is indigo, because now it's the same color as as the tchelas. Meisve talis ain't poter ba elomino. A talis is the only potter when you use the same color as the, the tzitzis have to be the same color as the beged. What do you do? Talis shekula tchelis, maybe tchelis v'dover acher v'toyleba. You should when you have a beged, when the garment is blue, bring another color. V'kol ilan loyavi, an indigo is not good. Vim hevi kosher. Ooh, says here that it's kosher. So we have a steer. On the one hand, we said if you use indigo, it's possible. Over here, it says indigo is kosher. You shouldn't do it, but at the end of the day, if you do it, it's okay. Omer of Nachman, it's like Kashi. Kan betalis bas arbo chutin, kan betalis bas shmoina chutin. What's going on here? So, if, according to Rashi, if you already have four strings, you fold them over, how many do you have? Eight. Okay. He went and he put an additional four strings. In other words, he already had blue, he already had white, and now he comes in and he puts an additional four blue indigo strings. That's a problem. It's not the end of the world. That's the halacha that's not the end of the world. Don't do it. Why shouldn't you do it? Because now you're going to have a lot of blue strings, and what? Oh, five minutes? Okay, those are the last five minutes. They always go fast. Why is this not the same as a case? Hold on, we can't have questions now. So we only have five minutes. So you have a lot of blue strings. What's going to happen? One day he's going to forget. He's going to undo his, all his strings. And he's going he's to use his indigo as, as treilas. And that's shatnas. It could be a problem of shatnas. Or he'll take off the, the, the real treilas and he'll be left with his indigo. And it's a problem of shatnas on his beged. Fine. That's when you have eight strings. Four strings is a problem. You can't use indigo when you only have two strings and you're using the other, the, the blue as the same color. That's mamish asr. But the Gemara sticks in here. There's a little trick here. Why do we just say this halacha? Because we just said under our breath that he's taking from one beged and putting on another beged. It's a problem. He might one day undo it and use his blue on another beged and he, he's using the indigo, he's using the color elon and that's a problem. What did he just tell me? He just told me I could use it from one beged to another beged. Without realizing it, you just told me a, a halacha. You slipped a halacha in there. That he's going to undo it and he's going to use it on another beged. Oh. Shmas me no, matir me beged le beged. Says the Gemara, no. What's the raya? Dilma di ovad. It doesn't say you're allowed to, it just says, what if he does it? If he does it, you might have a big problem. Don't learn from this halacha. Itmar. Rav Omar, what? What are you tying, Menachem? Rav Omar, e matir mi beged le beged, u shmuel Omar matir mi beged le beged. So this is machlag is Rav and Shmuel, whether you can use scissors from one beged to the other. Rav Omar, e madliki miner le ner. On Hanukkah, can you light on one menorah from the other menorah? We always use the shamish. We don't go from one to the other. What's the problem? Because the problem is bizarre. And if the problem is bizayon, then really la halacha, the Gemara over there says that the, at the end of the Gemara, it could be bizayon, it could be because you're making the fire less. The Gemara says no, the problem is bizayon. There is no bizayon when you're doing another mitzvah. So la halacha, you would be allowed to light one menorah to another menorah because it's not an embarrassment for the first menorah. You're actually, it's better for the first menorah, you're doing more mitzvahs with it. If the problem was that you're lessening the fire, then it would be aser, but that's not the problem. Right, the same bizarre in Allah. Right, we're talking about bizarre now. Hmm? 
I, 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 the beg, right, right, and that's why if the beged is bala, if the beged is no no longer good, then you don't have a problem on the beged. When it comes to Hanukkah, you go from one there to the other. Rav Omar in halachik Reb Shimon begreira. This is the famous halacha of Safsol, of any miskaven in Shabbos, that if you drag a bench, you want the bench, but by doing so, you cause uh, a groove in the, in the ground, and that's also to make a groove, you're not allowed to dig on Shabbos. Reb Shimon says it's mutter, because you're not, you're not any miskaven, you're not thinking about it at all. Ushmul Omar, so Rav says that Allah is not like Reb Shimon, that any miskaven is also. Ushmul Omar, Allah is Reb Shimon, that any miskaven is mutter. Omar Baya, on these three halachas that we just learned, Kol mili dimar, everything that my Rebbe, Rabbi Aaron Nachmeni, who Abai everybody knows was an orphan, and Rabbi Aaron took him in and he became, he was, he was his Rebbe, he taught him everything he knew. So, Kol mili dimar ovid kirav, lebar mahanit last ovid kishmo. Everything he did exactly like Rav, besides these three last halachas that we just learned. That what? Matirimi beged le beged. You could undo tzitzis and use it in another beged. Umadlikim in there. And you could use a, a menorah to another menorah. Ve'aloch ki Rebbe Shimon begreira. And aloch is, Eri miskaven is mutter. Desai Rebbe Shimon benoimer. What's the case? Goyra ha'da mita v'kisi v'safsal. You could drag a bed, a, a chair and a bench. O mevach le yiskaven la asis charetz. As long as you have a chaven, it's mutter. Says the Gemara, Rav Yehuda Mosel Eli Katsaro. Rabbi Yehuda would give his tzitzis to the cleaners. What's the problem? This is the problem right over here. Boy, I brought you a sample. This happened this week to my tzitzis. My wife did laundry, and we used those blue things. I don't know if you know that you wrap the thing in the blue, and the blue thing, it works actually, until the blue thing gets stuck somewhere. And it ripped off all four tzitzis, nice and clean. What happens if we were in business, the cleaning of the and this happened? My wife would run right away, buy real nice indigo, and she would put it right back on. Right? That's... Use those for the sack, by the way. So that's the problem. We have to... What? No, you get a sock bag. Yeah, yeah, we used to do that. It's not... Use it no, the sack, it falls out. Anybody has a good oh, eitzah, what to do, how to clean tzitzis? Israelis, they have a very good eitzah. They never clean their tzitzis. <laughs> but we... I wear, uh, I wear undershirts. I, need, I have to clean it like every day. I need a good eitzah. Somebody tell me I have to share it. Oi, I didn't have a moisture policy. If I would have really. <laughs> All right. Review the muscle. I'm, I'm on a roll here. First of all, we're racing. We start, off Mendy. Kippur, start off with Mendy. Monty and Kipper. Start off with Mendy. Three strikes. I'm gone. There's not gonna be. There's not gonna be any video online today. <laughs> Raviyu the Masalei the Katsara. He had no problem giving it to the cleaners because the cleaner, we're not worried that he's going to go and put in his own tzitzis, the apostle tzitzis. Rav Hanino of Lady Sisyo. Rav Hanino did what Mr. Kornbluth said. He put it in a ball of some sort and he, he gave it to him like that. Ravino Chayadu Mechot. This is a good idea. I, I, they should actually come out with it. They should have like, they, they should have like a little zipper in the corner and you put your tzitzis in and close it. Or Velcro. Have yeah, yeah, the, the small hole is not good. It, it never worked for me. Yeah, I need like a real with the with the zipper with the Velcro. He, he you like, you invented. I I buy it. Tonerabonim. Are you gonna make a jacket with a zipper for it's Velcro? We saw that. Tonerabonim. Kam chutim noisen. Big sugyo in two, in one minute. How many strings do you need? We're gonna go according to to Rashi. You put in four strings and you fold it over. How do you know? So Tosis explains because it says Gdil, Gdil is two and Gdilim is four. You put in three and you double it over, it's six. Why? Because Gdil is two, Psil is one according to Tosis. Psil means one, so you have three. Three times two is six. According to Rashi, how long does it hang down? What's the, what's the length? It should hang down four, four finger breaths. So how much do we have total? Six. Why? Because we said that the, 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 the stringing, the, this part has to be double of this part. So if this is four, and so this has to be two. So maybe the total is six. Oh, it's not a good time to lose a place. Where am I? Oh, so, so three would be four and a half total. Because half of three is one and a half, two times that, four and a half. Shvashol yishabay silo oimrim achas mi arba 
betevach shel kol adam. So what's the shear? You use your largest finger, which is the, the thumb, and what? It's one of four. In other words, he holds that the tefach is four uh, thumbs, and you use shakala, the meaning an uh, average person, average adult man, his thumbs. Omer apapa tefach doiraiso arba begudol, either it's four thumbs, a tefach, or shis piktano, or six pinkies, chomesh betilta, or five fingers. That's ba. Omer avuno arba besoich arba. It should be, the string should be four finger breaths away from the edge of your garment. Arba, uh, it should be four strings. Besoich arba, four finger breaths away. Umishuleshes, and how much does it hang down? Arba, four, four, four. Rav Yudomar, shloisha. It should be three strings like Basil, Basoich, Shalish, three finger breaths away. Mishuleshes, Shalish, and it hangs down three. Three, three, three. Omer Papa. He makes a mishmash. Hilchasa arba. It should be four strings. Besoich shalish, and he borrows from Rav Yehuda and Beis Hillel the shear of three finger breasts. Mishulashes arba, and he goes back four three four. Atkan, have a great day. What? You know when I prepared this? We had a cheer last night. We had six hours in the morning. Tomorrow's here, we'll be shocked to cheer. And then Sunday and Yom Kiv, hopefully we're going to...